But when Merrill Lynch came to me, understand that I am a lawyer that moved into business. Um, a along the way, AT&T invested in me in, in wonderful ways. I was very privileged. And when I left AT&T, I had a 500-person organization managing everything from supply management to call centers on new phones to all sorts of things. Uh, every shared services enterprise risk function as we defined it. So I was coming to Merrill Lynch with a business experience based on a lawyer's foundation that was a courtroom trained attorney. And if you're a trial attorney, your, your communication skills have to be very good. If you are a lawyer, you have to be disciplined thinking. Then at t gave me the business savvy and the business skills. I didn't come from HR. And one of the reasons that I was passionate about the human resources chief learning officer work was in Macaw, one of our principles was to run lean. Now, when AT&T took us over, a whole team of wonderfully talented human resources learning people came on board. We didn't have any of that at Macaw. At Macaw, we were expected to do that ourselves. We had a lean HR team that would absolutely support us, but I was fully expected by my CEO to develop my leaders, to drive their performance, to optimize it, and to make working with me in our company a fabulously innovative, exciting, engaging place. Um, so f for my mind, what every leader that Craig McCaw printed, they were a chief learning officer. Because, and in my opinion, I really believe this, great leaders have to be fantastic learners and passionate teachers.